There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. Bert's Wheels and Dolphins. And that's the title, Bert's Wheels and Dolphins. So let's have a look at this. We have image, which we shall select. Uh, let's have a little coastline. And we have to pick a wheel or a dolphin. Look, you can pick a narwhal. Narwhal. Narwhal indeed. Voice on. And we can pick the size. Uh, let's do that. There we are. Let's color our narwhal. Let's... Ah, it's got the fill function. Right, so this is for very small children to learn how to color things using the computer. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. Come on, Bert's Dolphins and Wheels. You can color it. Oh, no. Why did I pick so much blue? Slowly, slowly it creeps. I wonder if I turned up the cycles count, would it help? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. We're just going to have to patiently wait. Right. Uh, let's see. Let's pick a color for the sky. There we go. I'm just going to paint the sky. And it does so line by line. And then it does the secondary stuff. Okay. I could color all the rest. But let's hit the story button. Write your story. Pete, the purple narwhal, was out striding on the land despite his flippers. Look at all this strangely white land. Pete declared, despite being a narwhal, who lacked speech. Okay, the story has been written. Um, does that load up? Yes, it does. There we go. Isn't that great? The story of Pete the Purple Narwhal by Lonnie, aged too much. <laughs> Uh, we can just do a random draw function. Look at that. All that black in the sea. We can erase things if we didn't like them. Or we can save and load. Enter the picture name. Uh, Pete. I was going to call it Bert, but decided against it. And we can print it out. And you have to pick an appropriate printer. I don't think I have any of those. So we'll hit the stop button. Uh, oh, we just got rid of Bert. Okay. Pete even. It's called Bert's Dolphins and Wheels and stuff. Print manual or registration. Uh, so we can print out the user manual if we're really confused about how to function. Or we can hit the big old red stop button. And I think we'll be doing that. Oh, look, it's it's one of those guilt-trippy ones. Okay to exit program? Yes or no? Yes. No. Huh. I'd have thought they'd have been the other way around. Oh, well. Let's hit no. And let's just see if we can resurrect our narwhal. 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 Whoa. All oh, right, you have to pick the size, yes. I thought it was just... <laughs> taking over the entire screen. I've already spent too much time on this, I know. There we go. He's back. He's back, folks. Don't worry. And we'll give him a pink horn. There we go. It didn't, didn't quite fill in that top bit. Oh, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm pink clouds, apparently. Or mountains. I'm not sure. Oh, well. That is Bert's Wheels and Dolphins. What is it? It's a simple children's colouring game that's perfectly playable and pleasant. 
and is just designed to teach your child that color blindness is bad and they should feel ashamed of themselves. Now, it's it's fairly playable and pleasant. And it doesn't really, you know, do anything to make itself outstanding, but it does the job. So, well done, Bert, whoever you may be, if you ever come across this. And now let's turn the sea into this colour. And if you like me talking about random toss games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos. And if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you have more colour vision than I do, you might be one of my esteemed ocular patrons. A secret cabal of people who have more artistic talent in a single bone than I do in my entire body. A wonderful group of people. And you can see here, yes, this is coloured in round the lines. So you can do your usual sort of MS Paint segregation of the fill tool. So yeah, not much more to say about this one. Until next time.